Hello, and welcome to Blythe Ray Business News. For this edition, I'm joined by Tim Harrison, who is Managing Director of Ionic Rare Earths. Listed on the Australian Stock Exchange with the symbol of IXR, Ionic has been well known for developing its, uh, its rare earths uh, operation in Uganda. But today, we're talking about part of Ionic Rare Earths, Ionic Technologies, which is making a breakthrough in Belfast. Tim, welcome on the show. You've just announced a huge milestone for Ionic Technologies that you've started um, producing rare earth oxides at your Belfast recycling plant. Tell us something about that. Hi, Tim. Good to be back. Yeah, tremendous um, outcome uh, and achievement uh, for the team at Ionic Technologies in Belfast. They've just now produced uh, our first recycled magnet rare earth uh, oxides from our demonstration plant, which we've built in, in Belfast. So um, tremendous achievement, uh, a bit over nine months actually, since we received a grant from the UK government. So it's a, yeah, a, a brilliant outcome. Now, as I understand it, you, you're the first company to produce rare earths by recycling them uh, to such high quality. Just tell us why is recycling of rare earths so important when compared to the mining of rare earths? Well, I think recycling is going to be complementary to, to the mining. Um, if we look at the recent European Critical Raw Material Act, um, I think the EU has identified the need to recycle. I think as a, as a society, um, we're now more, uh, we have greater expectation that recycling forms part of our overall strategy for, for critical raw materials. So um, with regard to, to what we're doing with Ionic Technologies, uh, we see a great opportunity in being able to be one of those first companies moving into producing high quality, uh, separated uh, individual magnet rare earths, which can take material from end of life, uh, end of life magnets um, and re then repurpose that into newer, better, uh, higher quality magnets for, for the energy transition. So you mentioned there, it's rare earth oxides, which you are producing through the recycling process. Uh, and they are separated magnet uh, bare earth oxides. Um, just tell us a bit much more about how they're going to be used potentially. Okay, so um, magnet rare earths uh, are used in the production of permanent magnets. So permanent magnets are the most powerful, most efficient uh, magnets that, uh, that are known of today. Um, they're used in the generation of um, wind energy, so offshore wind turbines, um, and probably the biggest application um, in, you know, the opportunity for society is the rollout in electric vehicles. These little magnets go into the electric, um, uh, the, the motors, the E-drives in electric vehicles, and they provide huge amounts of, of traction, very powerful magnets that can um, effectively provide the most efficient motors for, for, for electric vehicles. So it's, a, it's an area where there is expected to be, you know, substantial growth. Um, and if you look on the road, I mean, uh, and advertising, you can see that the electric vehicles are popping up now more frequently everywhere. I think uh, uh, there's a massive demand that's, uh, that's looming on um, electric vehicle production. Um, and we hope to be a part of that. Without baffling me with science, I'm sure there's some very clever technology here that you've developed. Can you explain to us in, in layman's terms how your, your separation and refining technology helps the recycling progress of these very high purity magnet rare earth oxides? Well, the technology was developed by Queen's University Belfast. So um, it's, a, it's a hydrometallurgical process that uh, is agnostic on magnet quality, um, can chemically separate out the, the individual rare earth elements. Uh, from the, the rest of the iron and the boron in the magnet. Um, and then with, uh, with our process, our patented process, we're able to individually separate those magnet rare earths into their individual elemental compounds um, and then produce the separated products, which can then be redeployed in varying different quantities to make varying different targets uh, of magnet specifications. So uh, it's really at the forefront now of, of supplying that uh, that uh, the huge demand. Ionic Rare Earths, through its uh, Ionic Technologies uh, and the plant in Belfast, I suppose it's given you um, first mover advantage 
um, outside of China, I suppose, first mover advantage to produce these high purity individual rare earth oxides. What does that mean? This first well, mover advantage in you know outside China. What does it mean for the continuous life cycle supply in Europe and beyond? Well, I think it, what it now does is it positions us at the head of the queue. Um, it's enabling us now to start to move forward on several discussions where we're looking and, and potential partners have been looking at our technology uh, and the potential to roll out across the UK, Europe, the US um, and some other parts of the world. So um, I suppose we're now at the cusp of being able to roll out modular magnet recycling, which can provide domestic, uh, secure, sustainable and traceable supplies of magnet rare earths, um, which have now been dubbed strategic raw materials under the EU Critical Raw Material Act, um, to help address countries' uh, requirements for, for sovereign capability. Um, so I think it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity now to deploy. Tim, thanks for that update. Congratulations to your team in Belfast. We always want a bit more. So having told us about this news, from Belfast, what else can we be looking out for in the future? What's the next few milestones for ionic rare earths or indeed ionic technologies? Well, if we stick on ionic technologies, I think now producing oxides, um, separated magnet oxides at high, uh, high purity, um, it's gonna enable us to potentially move forward much faster now on commercial opportunities, um, further engagement with, with several governments as well. So I, I do expect over the course of the, you know, the rest of 23, um, we will see some, some traction on that. With regards to um, Ionic Rare Earths, our Makutu Rare Earth Project, um, we're hoping to, to soon get our mining license. Um, we're building a demonstration plant again for, for that asset in Uganda to produce products for strategic partners or potential strategic partners who are looking at our product being both magnet and heavy rare earths uh, to help them provide an alternative supply uh, for the new economy. So, um, you know, I think over the rest of this year, um, you know, there's a lot of catalysts that, uh, that hopefully can um, um, certainly move the stock price higher, but position Ionic in that next phase of development and be one of those leaders in the emerging supply chains for, for magnet and heavy rare earths. So it's a very exciting time for the company. Well, lots of news flow to come and you must come back and keep us updated. Thanks, Tim. That was Tim Harrison, Managing Director of Ionic Rare Earths, giving us that very good update, the exciting news coming out of Belfast and Ionic Technologies and the recycling of rare earth oxides for their applications in magnets. That's it for this edition of Blythe Business News. Thanks for watching.